A lot of you might be wondering how my skincare is going with Lush, and here it is. <music> Gotta do this really fast because I started pumping my foundation, and I'm gonna show you my face before I put foundation on, but the foundation's not the fault of the lid. Anyway, so this is what we're working with right now. I wish I would have done a before so we could have seen like the real difference. Skin tone is evening out. I'm getting less red on my cheeks. So I'm pretty sure I developed rosacea or something during pregnancy. I am breaking out. I have one new breakout right there and it's the cystic acne. That one's drying up. Um, that one that was really painful the other day is like completely dry, just like a little scab now, but that one is new and it hurts. And then let's see, all of this is drying up, all that acne. Let me see, up there that's drying up. I've been putting the grease lightening on the spots. So on the spots that look really shiny right now, that's because I put grease lightening on them. So this is a skin update. All right, my makeup is on and done. You already started the vlog today? Yeah, I was showing them my skin since I started the Lush skincare. Punk. Hey, did you show them my beard? Because I started the Lush beard oh, did you do care. That today? Yeah. Does it feel softer to you? No. Anyway, here's a little Edie. Tyler gave her a bottle, but I think she's still hungry, so I'm about to give her another one. Just because we're gonna get some brunch at our favorite breakfast place. Yeah, she hasn't been there outside <laughs> of the womb yet. No, she hasn't. We've eaten there a lot when I was pregnant. And she then we're ate gonna... there plenty of times from the ambiotic fluid, and now she's gonna eat there from the breast milk. True. Her little face is so scratched up. I promise that wasn't us. We don't abuse our daughter. She's been trying to chew her hands a lot lately and I've been kind of letting her. She's been sucking her thumb and I think that provides her relief because I think she's teething. There was a lot of I thinks in there. I'll explain later. No matter how much I like trim her nails or file her nails, she still scratches herself. So I think we're gonna have to wear mitts today anyway. We're gonna go get breakfast and then I think we might go to our favorite coffee shop that you guys have seen before. Hi, baby. Because it's March, which means it's time to plan a new month. And then we'll have to run into Lush real fast so I can get um, the breath of fresh air toner i will say makeup wise like my makeup went on a lot smoother you can still see those spots that are healing that's the new one right there that hurts really bad this one's like basically healed but oh. it's a scab okay that's she what grabbed my beard and then she went and she tried to put it in her mouth Hey. I had a new shirt come in from Little Mama Shirt Shop. It says raising a little wildflower, which I think is so cute. They have a matching onesie that says a uh, little wildflower, so it's like a mommy and me set. I need to get Evelyn. Um, oh my gosh. What's so funny, baby? Whoa. She knocked my glasses crooked. Oh. And she laughed. Hi, Beam. Her poor little face. What, Bub? Are you hungry? I Are you hungry? Dog, you feed the kid. Uh huh. So I'm about to pack Edie's diaper bag up, and I thought I'd show you guys real fast just what I have learned in the past two months. Oh my gosh! Look at our baby unicorn. She's sitting up all over herself. Her. There's some things I have learned I can take out, and then other things I've learned I needed to add to our bag. And as she gets older, I'm having to pack toys and things. So. Let me just do a quick overview. So here are some items I have to pack in her bag. A few of them are missing, but that's because it's gonna go with her in the car seat. But I have some diapers because I think there's only two left in there and I need to pack some more. You never wanna run out of diapers, so <laughs> pack a lot. The other things I like to pack are just a few changes of clothes just in case she has a blowout. And I usually just pack these little sleepers because they're the easiest to get on her. I don't wanna fiddle around with a lot of clothing if she has a blowout and then I have her nookums. It's like a web and nub, which we do have a web and nub. It's this one right here, but it literally looks exactly the same. And this one actually is a rattle as well. It's a unicorn, it's cute. We're bringing her Sophie because she is starting to teethe. And then we have another little teether from Target. Um, I have my milk, what is this called? Basically my nursing cover up. And this by Latched Mama, I think. It's, oh yeah, it's the Latch Pal. So basically this gets your shirt out of the way if you need to nurse. I also, oops, I'm also packing my nipple shield just because sometimes we have to put this on to get her to latch and then she's good to go. Um, just some socks, shoes, a bottle, and her passy with her pacifier clip. Also in our diaper bag, it came with a changing pad cover and then we also have um, some wipes in here. I have my baby Aquaphor. 
And then this whole front pouch is basically my purse. I put my wallet up here and let's see. What else do I have in here? It's a mess. Wallet pads from whenever I was still bleeding postpartum. Um, nursing pads so if I start leaking. Lotion, hand sanitizer, lip gloss, all that good stuff. I also keep my planner in here just because sometimes I like to plan. I'm gonna put my iPad back here as well. That's a quick overview of what I pack in my diaper bags. But anyway, let me finish loading all the stuff in the diaper bag so we can get going and hopefully eat some food because I am so hungry. <laughs> that in my diaper bag as well I have some just nipple cream and these little diaper bags so if we're not by a trash can it's like the armor uh, what is it called arm and hammer it's basically a doggy bag basically like a doggy poop bag but for your baby's diapers and it comes in this little spin thing anyway we've used this a few times whenever she's had blowouts it helps keep but whenever she's had a blowout before we've used one of these to put her blowout clothing in so it doesn't get all over the diaper bag and it keeps it smelling okay because these are scented so yeah that's another few of things that i pack in our diaper bag so we made it to millie's <laughs> hi i'm paul you started a vlog clip right now i was going to post a photo Oh. All right, our food is here and we're ready to dig in and hopefully she stays asleep. Okay, we left Millie's, uh, Edie's upset because I think her binky fell out of her mouth. <laughs> and Tyler and I were remembered by the people. They're like, you finally had your baby. That was our first time to be in there since we had her. So I was just kind of a good feeling that we had a place that people, the workers knew us, but she was like, when did you have her? We said December 28th, and she was like, I haven't seen you guys in, in that long. And she's like, I feel like I just saw you. We're like, we were just saying that. We felt like we were just there, but it was over two months ago. Anyway, Edie's crying. I can't reach her right now, and I don't want to record her crying. So, bye. Bye. So Edie has chilled out a little bit. I'm thinking she fell asleep, because usually when we start moving in the car pretty fast, she falls asleep. Just when we're, whenever we're sitting still or not moving very fast, she gets very angry, very, very angry. Anyway, we're almost at brew point, um, and I have a little bit of a dilemma. Tyler, can you guess what my dilemma entails? Um, give me a hint. Oh, is it, you don't know what to drink because you just had coffee? No, I always know what to drink. Um, okay, what, give me a hint. It deals with drink. Drink? Yeah. What size drink should you get? It doesn't have to deal with me and drink. Well, it does kind of deal drink? with me and drink. With me and drink? Does it do with Edie and drink? Yes. It does? Yes. If you want to get Edie a drink, you're not getting our daughter a drink at brew point. My chest is getting full of milk right now, um, and I can feel it. I just pumped at eight this morning, and it's what time is it? It's like eleven or almost noon. Yes, eleven forty-eight. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I guess that would be about the time I need to pump. Anyway, I'm feeling really full. She's gonna have to eat here in a little bit, and. I have all my supplies to breastfeed her, and I could, but it honestly gives me so much anxiety to breastfeed in public. Like, I'm not one of those women who is super brave and can just whip out the boob and feed their baby. It scares me. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm going to have to because I don't want to go back home just to pump. I don't know how to get to boob. If it's not crowded in Brewpoint, which I doubt that's going to be the case because it's a Saturday, I'll be okay with feeding her, but uh, I'm looking in right now. It's already crowded, it's so... Crowded it's Saturday. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So we made it to Brew Point. Edie is out of her car seat because she was not having it. It is very busy here, but it's not as crowded as I thought, seating wise. So, are you blowing spit bubbles? Are you blowing spit bubbles in your mouth? <gasps> Do you see yourself? My iPad's dead, so I can't work on things. Except I have my planner, so I may be able to plan out some videos. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's about to get cranky. Tyler's gonna work on some stuff. I may plan out some stuff or I may just cuddle baby. How's it going, Papa Bear? It's going. 
good. I love this place so much. Oh, look at that heart. What'd you get, Papa Bear? Lumberjack latte. The huge. The huge. Edie, what'd you get? A milk latte? Same. Why do you always get the pretty lattes and they lid mine? They hate me. And of course, our trip is not complete without donuts. Ooh, those donuts in that hand. And she's farting on my leg. We're back at my new favorite place. <laughs> um, we didn't vlog since we left Brew Point. No, we're oh, oh, we did. We oh, vlog. Never mind. Did we vlog? I think so. No. I don't know. We went to David's Key. We're looking for lush stuff. I found my lush stuff, but I kind of want more lush stuff. And Tyler's the best and helps me get matcha tea things from David's Tea. It's gonna be delicious. Look at our baby. I can't even. Look at my wife. I can't even. She's so cute. Aw, thanks, me. Okay, we are leaving the outdoor mall and I kind of have like a praise slash rant about Lush. <laughs> um, so I was just there two days ago and I had a really good experience. The woman that helped me out was amazing and I thought she was recommending me the right, oh, exit right here. I thought she was recommending the right products. Um, went in today just to pick up some of the samples that she gave me and to look at their face masks. Well, apparently the woman that helped me out wasn't like completely trained yet. So she actually recommended a few products that were not good for my skin, which could be why I broke out with this big cystic acne mark right there. Today, the woman that helped me was actually a manager and she called herself a skin expert. So I guess that she's the one that does a lot of the skin consultations. So I explained to her my situation and she seemed very knowledgeable about like postpartum hormonal breakouts. Postpartum hormonal breakouts are completely different from like teenage acne. So here's the products I would recommend for your skin. And she starts listing out everything. And I'm like, I just came in the other day and spent like $50. Oh, the sun's bright. None of the products that I purchased are the ones that you just recommended. So now I was like super confused. <laughs> so I told her what I purchased and she told me which items would still work out for me. But then she told me like what things she still recommended that I get later on if my skin's still problematic. And then she told me I could return any of the stuff that that girl <laughs> told me to get. She felt really bad. She's like, I'm so sorry. We're, we have, we just hired a whole bunch of new people. My first experience was good, even though the girl didn't really know what she was doing. And then this experience again was good. And everyone was raving over our baby as Tyler sat there with her looking all cute and stuff it's true all those i swear i could stand alone with our baby and i'm not going to get flooded with people around me the minute tyler's alone with the baby in the stroller i turn around there's like four or five women just surrounding him i'm like there were three from my angle it looks like four or five you're now officially a hot dad that baby's a chick magnet if you didn't have your ring on those ladies would have been trying to pick you up He's mine. Anyway, we're headed home. My chest hurts so dang bad. Who's tired of hearing me talk about breastfeeding and my chest? Raise his hand too. Sorry guys, okay. We'll see you when we're home. It's bright. So we're home now. I am feeding the tiny human. Tyler's working on productive things. And I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm feeling really tired. That's, all, that's the most we've done in a long time. Mm -hmm. That was a lot. We went three places and Edie did great. To figure out what we are gonna have for dinner, I'm really craving cauliflower for some reason, like roasted cauliflower. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. So I gotta find something to go along with cauliflower because it doesn't make sense just for me to make roasted cauliflower. So Paula Tyler was working on church things. I'll go to Jewel and get the ingredients for that or Target, I don't really know. At some point, I can't wait to take off my makeup and do my face mask and everything tonight and use all the new products that I got. Edie and I are now headed to the church to get some work done for church tomorrow. Um, Mom's going grocery shopping. This is actually the first time I've ever baby worn her. It feels so weird. I kind of like it. Alright, took longer than I thought it would. And I uh, 
I kind of made a mess over here, but I got CDs copied, legally of course. I got music all ready to go. Um, yeah, that's about it. Now, this girl was good most of the time. She's a little fussy at first, but then I think she fell asleep. I'm gonna get her home because, yeah, this, I'm not, I don't think I'm wearing this uh, baby wearer correctly. It's gonna like, keep sliding down. I don't think it's tight enough, so she can't be comfortable in there. I'm gonna take her home, get her in her swing. Okay, friends, it is currently, there we go, the camera's blurry. Uh, what time is it, babe? 8.45 p.m. 8.45 p.m. Tyler is currently feeding the little bead. We've given her a bath. She's in her sleeper for the night. And yeah, I think we're calling it a night. We're gonna go to bed soon. We're about to go to bed and wanna say goodnight for the night. Thanks guys for watching. If you, have, blah, blah, blah. If you have yet to subscribe, feel free to do so and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Say goodbye, Blaze. Bye people. Olive juice too. Good night, Edie.